and welcome back. So we've got our spoiler board all done and surfaced. We've got our row of grid lines in there so we know where our workpiece is going to locate within the overall board position. The next thing we need to do is start cutting something. And the first thing I want to do, well, if you're a Patreon supporter, this will be sort of familiar to you. Uh, I want to make some little hold downs. This is just a simple little piece of plywood with a slot cut in it and a little rebate at one end. Then we can put a, a bolt and a little knob on that to hold things down. And I've got a couple of little bits of uh, six mil uh, birch ply ready to go. We need to get these dimensions back at the office, draw up what we need, and then we can come back here actually get these cut. Let's dive straight in. So we're going to start with a, oops, a new file. Now I've already put uh, my dimensions in here. It's 375 wide, 125 uh, high and actually 6.5 thick. I did actually measure this, uh, quite important to do that if you're doing a cut all the way through 6.5mm uh, thick for the uh, supposedly 6mm birch ply. And then what we're going to do, what I need is, is really very simple. We're just going to draw some straight lines. We don't have to be overly precise with these. Uh, there's one, and then we can Copy that and paste it and move it along. I think we'll get about seven of these. Copy and paste. I probably need to space those out a little bit more. And with those drawn, we can then think about doing a toolpath. Now, these are going to be all the way through, so it's a profile toolpath. I'm going to use a cut depth 6.5mm, which is already set in. Uh, we're going to use a quarter inch end mill. And I'm just going to accept the default settings Oops. that it comes up with. I'm going to call this profile 2. And then we can calculate the toolpaths. There we are. And that shows us where we're going to get our little grooves cut. And then the other thing we'd need to do, and I'll do that in a minute, because uh, we need to put another one in to do our rebate at the top here. And again that'll be a quarter inch uh, bit but set to a shallower pass so you don't go all the way through. And then all we need to do is uh, save this as a toolpath once we've got the other one set up obviously. And then we save it to the location that we want. So that's the sort of very kind of high level overview of Aspire software. The fact that me as a total klutz who's all thumbs can get this functioning uh, is a testament to how good the software is to be perfectly honest. Okay so we've got our drawing uh, g-code loaded up on the laptop ready to go. We've got a couple of bits of birch ply and actually just bound together really quickly a couple of basic little hold downs, hold downs for the hold downs. Uh, and these are literally just a couple of bolts with a drop-in T-nut on it, through a little piece of ply, spaced so that they fit into the uh, into the V-groove on the bench, uh, on the spoiler board. Uh, we'll pop those in now, then get ourselves ready to go with the router. So we've got our workpiece in position. Hold down's pretty good actually, quite impressed by those. First thing we need to do with the uh, controller software is home the machine before we can do anything and then we can 
jog these guys around so that we find this front corner piece here. So we're going to go uh, X plus 50. around there and Y minus brings it forward minus brings it forward for some reason and then I will get a little probe to make this a little bit easier but for now Jog this down onto a sheet of paper so you can see when it comes to bite. Half a minute at a time, and then we can set the work XYZ there. Now we can open the jobs. Do you want to start hold downs? Yes, I do. But first, I need to get the extractor on. And I need to get some cameras running. I definitely need my gear defenders. Yes, that router should have been on, shouldn't it? On the positive side though, all the cameras were running, which is important. Okay, small matter of not putting the router on, or indeed the dust extraction. got sidetracked by cameras. So take turn with the router now running. It turns out that the workpiece really does need to be held down. And yes, trying to hit the emergency stop button with my left hand whilst holding onto the workpiece with my right and avoid a router that seemed to have a mind of its own. Well, that was quite um, entertaining. Okay, this hold down's not good enough. No one there. So with last week's impromptu hold downs pressed into service, together with some double-sided tape admittedly, I could get things moving again, or rather not moving, and the whole thing turned out really quite nicely. Okay, so first little piece properly cut all the way through and everything. Um, in case you're wondering, yes, I did leave this little skinny bit on the outside because I didn't want the bit, the mill, going too close to the sandpaper that was on these edges. Uh, although clearly that sandpaper on those edges is a total waste of time because it was nowhere near enough to stop the workpiece from moving around when things started to go a little bit uh, lumpy. Um, I'm still not getting a great finish off these bits. I wonder if I need to use downcut bits or something. Maybe that's an upcut bit. I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, first time out, not bad. I'm just going to cut these up and these will be our proper hold downs for future. I might, might have gone a little bit too deep with that um, rebate because I suspect that would, that would snap quite easily. But uh, anyway, we'll see. I'm going to chop these up into however many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and then get some little screws, little bolts, and uh, drop in T-nuts in there. And we'll make those into our proper hold downs. And uh, yeah, then we can think about making something else. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, first job, job as it were, done and dusted. More fun to come.
Okay, so one more thing before we go. These are our little hole downs. Uh, they work really well. Um, just a real simple little you know, piece of plywood with a, a rebate in it at the end. Uh, a drop-in T-nut over a bolt. Uh, uh, and this one's got a just a piece of threaded rod with a you know, fancy uh, little knob on the end, a little plastic equivalent to a, whatever you call them, wing nut. So, uh, low profile, oops, this one if you want a low profile version, this one if you don't mind it sticking up a bit more. But the same sort of function, this one has a slightly longer bolt, so it'll fit slightly thicker material. This one will do that, but you take the washers out. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward. And uh, I look forward to putting these to better use next time when we actually start making something that I want to make rather than just hold downs. Thank you.